Hello, this is Longest Day, and we're looking at GT versus UGA 2016. Uh, what's the good word? To hell with Georgia. Great game, enjoyed it. Let's look a little bit on the inside to see uh, what, what happened here. All right, uh, I am going to make this several segments so that we can be a little bit more in-depth and not try to make it through the whole game in, in one take. Um, it'll give me a little bit more time to kind of go through the blocks a little bit better because the blocking uh, is... a significantly different than um, some of our other games. We have seen some of this already, but uh, this will be a, a good time to go through what's what's going on, some of the changes. All right, so we're going to go through this first play of the game right here, let you see what it looks like. All right, so it was a triple option, and we'll go through it right here. Your two option guys are these two outside guys. There's five people on the line. It means these are your two option guys. You can see we have two linebackers. Right here, our safeties are playing a little deep, expecting maybe a pass on the first play. One thing we want to look out for is watch for this guy blocks. If you know traditionally, he, he will block the linebacker. Normally he goes on the inside to try to get him, and uh, he gets pinched pretty hard by, by the outside guy, whether it's the defensive end or, or linebacker. Um, there's only other options to try to loop on the outside, which sometimes makes him a little off on trying to get the right angle to block uh, the, the mic as he's coming through the alleyway right here. Um, something else that we know that's happened this year is, you know, a lot of times our centers have been pitched. And you can see right here, that's even starting to go on right there. And so what ends up happening is Will is going to be firing out and, and hitting the linebacker, uh, our guard, basically. So our guard, um, his job is to hit the, this linebacker as well to if he's coming down shallow to stop the, the B-back. If he's going to the outside, it's the job of the usually the tackles to, to stop the linebacker from you know, getting to the outside. In this case, you're going to see um, the uh, tackle here take on uh, either the cornerback or the safety. and It, it kind of changes in the game, and you'll see that in, in a little bit. But we'll go ahead and start this play off, and you can see right here is the B-back. There's the mesh. This is your first option. He takes the B-back. All right, so that's where we are now. Now, um, you want to see here, see, this is our tackle. He's going to the outside, and a lot of times you would see him loop around to try to stop a, a, a linebacker. In this case, um, the A-back is going to go take out the linebacker. As you can see, the linebacker is kind of shallow and a little slow, so our, our guard has already got to him pretty good. So really no, no need to, to go any further here. And you can see right here what's about to happen is a, is a chop block. Got somebody engaged up high, and we, we, we hit them down low. So that's, a, that's an illegal uh, block right there, and I'm surprised uh, it wasn't called. All right, so here's JT. He's looking at his next option. Shoulders are faced to him. He's not that far outside of him. I would call this a pitch right here. We have two blocks to make, and we can make some reasonable yards on the outside. Um, JT decides to keep. I guess he sees a hole, a nice, nice hole right through there. So he tries to go up. There's an arm tackle there. We were able to pull that guy for about what about four yards, maybe four and a half. So not not too bad. Pitch would have gone a little further. So we'll do this again and see if we can get this right. Let you see it through. Little triple option, same play, slightly different blocking by the tackle and the wide receiver. We'll go back and look at it. All right, so here we are. You can see the tackle's going back to the outside, but you're going to see him block. Last time he was blocking this guy. This time he's going to block this guy. You're going to see your guard fire out. You're going to see your A-back come out. He's going to see that the guard already has this guy and try to look for somebody else to hit. Let's go ahead and play through it. The mesh, the first read, the read takes the B-back. Come out, our next read, shoulders are faced to the quarterback. Quarterback should pitch it. Now we've got a couple of things I want to mention. You can see right here the A-back is looking to take this guy, but last time, not, 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 you know, it ended up in a chop block, so he's going to look to try to stop somebody on the outside. you got a nice forearm going to be thrown right here. Watch his forearm. Really hits that guy pretty good. Nice little crack right there. You know, Mike Land Davis, man, he can put some... Some crack back on some people. Uh, June does a pretty good job right there. Stops this guy, knocks him off a little bit, and ends up actually tripping up the pitch guy because the pitch guy really did turn his shoulders pretty fast right there. Gets a little tripped up. 
Got Trey Clock doing his block on the outside this time, like we talked about. There you go. Now, where did that the A back right here actually comes and, and, and hits this other guy right here? Does a good job. Instead of getting that linebacker who's already engaged, ends up slowing that guy down right there. Little seam we get through. This guy's not really sure. He's not really sure. Kind of will he go out of bounds? Right there at the 40. Good job, Quay. You can see right here, angles can really look, it's really hard to tell. So when you think, oh man, that's an obvious pitch from the angle you're looking at. You look at it from behind, this is a much more difficult. Other than his shoulders, he kind of probably attacked him a little bit more before the pitch. Um, but it does enough. And that this trip right here kind of helps a little bit too. So great blocking. Whew. Close one right there as well. All right, we'll go to the next play. Same defensive setup, nothing really to talk about. I do believe we're going to see a triple option in the other direction. We'll let it play through. No pitch, no gain. So where did that come from? What happened? Let's go through it. So again, I do believe we're going to have blocking out here, blocking right here. You're going to have this guy come around looking for this guy. You're going to have this guy go looking for this guy. And you're going to have this guy dead on the center here. And that means that Freddy's not going to be able to fire out like he normally is. He's going to end up having to block this guy. So we'll get it started. Freddy does this right here. Takes this guy out. You'll see Parker Braun coming out trying to get this guy. He's a little bit more to the outside. Of course, Parker's main job is to keep this guy from coming down just in case it's a B-back give. You can look right here, JT's reading a first option. He's taking the B back, so JT's gonna pull it, and he pulls it. You can see the A back coming around. He's supposed to stop this guy. This is your next option. A back takes, takes on his guy. Here's the next option. You can see, you know, it's kinda of hard to tell from one side. Shoulders looked a little bit more turned outside, but I think we're able to get around them. Now where we don't quite make the block is right here and right here. There's two blocks that end up being not, not as effective as we would like, and they both kind of get by right there. So this guy ends up stopping it in the backfield right here, and this guy would have stopped it for minimal gain. So two missed blocks, and uh, that's very important. You know, we gotta got to do it right. Let's see here. Nothing to talk about. No changes. Uh, again, I do believe it's triple option. Let's let you watch it through. Little pitch. And, you know, this is a touchdown. So we'll, we'll come back and follow it all the way to the end here. But let's go through the actual motions here. Remember what we're doing with each of our guys right here? We'll watch. We'll get them engaged. We've got burdens engaged right here. This guy's going to come out, fire out. Your two option guys are right here. JT's looking right there. You can see the off tackle going to the outside. Uh, I'll forget, they do change up who they're blocking. You'll see either this guy block this guy and this guy block this guy, or they'll switch and do a cross. So we'll go a little bit more. You can see right here, he's going for this guy. Um, obviously, this guy took the B back, so Thomas has it. This is your next read. You can see right here, we're trying to fire out and stop that guy. The A back's going to come and try to get this guy as well. Go a little bit more. We're reading the pitch. This guy is facing JT, so JT pitches the ball. So um, you get the A back right here. See the A back right there? It's taking on the linebacker. You, you know, we're on, since uh, the guard is coming through the back side, it's going to go ahead and look at taking this guy out. Got Trey Clock trying to take his guy out. Pitch the ball. We don't take him to the ground, but we definitely slow him down. Right here, we've got a block going on. Just a lot of good blocks. Very good run. Touchdown. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this. You know, there's only three series that I really want to do um, for this particular segment. We'll go ahead and see if we can't get the ball back. All right, took a long time, but we got the ball back. 
All right, here we go. We'll go ahead and let you see you got the same defense. Let's see what happens here. All right. So normal. Looks like I'm going to be a triple option. We'll go ahead and let you see the play out. All right. So why did JT keep it? What happened to the option guys? So we'll pay attention to the two option guys right here. So you can see he go through. JT's reading it. This guy takes the view back. JT pulls it. Now look here. See, they're having trouble pinching these guys, and they know that's important. So he's going to try to push him off track. But by pushing him off track, he takes himself to the outside. All right, so you can see Will's already got to his guy. You can see the AB, A back wants to get to that guy as well. Um, you can see right here, it looks like he's trying to go in to take this guy. We'll follow it out a little bit more. Since, since JT's going to the inside, because this is the pitch man. He's on the outside of him. He's got to go to the inside. There's the inside lane. We end up making about four and a half yards again. So I don't think there's anything else to see in that. Um, see Will taking that guy. Takes that guy. Crack back right there. It's this guy right here. The backside linebacker which we get a piece of right here from the backside, probably guard, Parker Braun there. And uh, JT does a good job of picking up five yards there. All right, let's go through. Now this is a interesting right here. Um, let's, let's start from the beginning. So this guy steps up in the hole. You see that? JT says, hmm, he calls something. They call it. They got the signals. He looks over here. He's yelling at Look, he, he, he touches, he says, well, you got, you got to pick that guy up, okay? So they're actually changing the blocking scheme, and you can see he's not going to go to the outside. Let's play through the play. Let's just see what it looks like right here. All right. Get you a little, a little further here. All right, there's the over-the-head pitch. Ends up being a fumble. So let's go ahead and see. What's going on? What does he do? He, he goes down and he takes this guy down because he's going to jump the gap right there. So takes that guy down. The next guy, the B-back does a great job, and he doesn't care who he's going for. Since he doesn't have the ball, he, he blocks the guy. It's an excellent block right there. A-back's coming around. He's going he's gonna to take this linebacker out right here. Does a great job take, you know, trying to take him out. And here's your pitch guy. Yeah, that's a good block right there. Good block by the B-back. Pitch guy, it's perfect. I remember this, you know, JT's trying to decide, do I want to run it, do I want to pitch it? Right? You can't see it here in another play, though. You can see the actual, he tries to the fake pitch it to get him to take the outside. Then he decides to go ahead and try to pitch it over his head. And the ball actually is going backwards. I do believe it's not forwards. But it actually gets touched by, by um, the A-back. It ends up going out of bounds forward right there. If I could bring it up real quick and show you, right here is the, um, the little right fake pitch. little fake pitch right there. This guy doesn't buy it. Try to go over his head. And it's just behind him right there. It would have been a nice run. All right, keep on going. Let you see this play through. Just a dive. So what happens? We don't get quite the push that we normally get. Um, right here, uh, it should be on the the hip of whichever way the guard is hitting. I really can't see. You, know, you can see the tackles coming on the inside. So really, that's what it is. Everybody is pinching down. And you'll see later on that our, um, our actual uh, B-back will bounce it outside when this happens. And everybody's pinching down and it ends up just plugging the hole up pretty good. Now I can't, you know, there's nowhere where we just really push them out of the way. So, in the first quarter, kind of get back to the game here. Change sides. So, two yards. Nothing really changed on the defense. Let you see the play through. Another triple option right here. 
Let's look at the blocking. You can see right here, going to the outside, he's going to take this guy. You can see already Brad's coming back in, take that guy. Um, this is your two option guys. You can see right here we're reading it. Takes the V back, we pull it, perfect. You can see again he's trying to push the off tackle. You know, trying to pinch him somewhere, trying to slow him down. That pulls him to the outside and he's stepping to the outside. That opens up the lane on the inside, which is good because we're not actually able to stop that guy and that would have been bad. Um, we do get a block by Brad right there. We got Parker Braun doing his thing. It's this guy. The a -back's also hitting his guy. JT turns it up, finds a little crease right there, and uh, ends up making it pretty close right there. Pretty close to the third down. All right. Go ahead and let you see this play through. Guy jumps up. I thought this was good, too. Watch this right here. So JT's going through a snap count. The guy jumps up. Doesn't come across the line, backs up, kind of, and they hike it while he's not ready. So perfect. Perfect timing by JT. We'll look through this. Let you see it. So what goes wrong? What goes wrong right here? All right. First read right here. Takes me back. JT pulls. Perfect right there. So this guy comes through. This guy right here. It's not. It's not the the linebacker. This guy comes through. JT sees. I don't know if he sees both these guys. He sees this guy. He's pretty far to the outside. This pitch relationship looks too close. I, you know. I wonder if if this pitching if it's the pitch relationship that kind of makes this hard too. We don't quite get a good block right here on uh, this linebacker. That's going to be this guy's responsibility, and he goes to the inside. Lately, you've been seeing him going to the outside. But with this guy pushing out, he's going to try to go to the inside. And he kind of comes off. This is your pitch guy. You probably need to attack him a little bit better. Probably need to have a little bit further pitch relationship. It's really close. He basically looks like he gives him the ball almost. Really, like I said, it's really hard to see angles when you're from the side right there. And we're just, just not enough commitment. This guy is actually not committed right here. You can see his shoulders are actually faced out. This would be a keep, um, but you can see right here that would have destroyed the keep. There's there's no way this play is totally broke broke down from missed blocks, you know, probably poor pitch distance. Um, it's it's not going to make it. All right, so we'll finish this half or finish at least the next touchdown. Let's see here. Oh, that's a, this is a short one right here. Um, so, I mean, that, you know, that play ended, um, you know, that drive. And we were really close. Oh. All right, let's see here. I'm going to look at these guys. These guys are really looking in. And they've been firing in. They haven't been going deep. You can see right here. They, they see what looks just like a triple option right here. Everything looks just like the triple option. Exactly what they're used to seeing. These guys are firing in. Brad fires by them. This guy actually starts to pick up Brad. JT's looking. Sees him open. Throws it up. You see Brad kind of has to hang around a little bit. But you don't want to th overthrow a wide open receiver. Um, turns around. Get a great little face mask right here. All right. Next play. Let you see it. Just a dive. Just a dive. Um, we're doing some dives off of this. Uh, it could be a triple option. Maybe it's the triple option out of the, the tight set right here. And you look, JT looks like he could be reading. Maybe he's carried out better than he has in the past. But it sure does look like this guy's coming through and no one's wanting to block him. So it could be these two guys are are optional guys. So does a great job. He comes right through, right where he's supposed to go through. All these guys are blocked right here. So I'm really I really don't know the the, the scheme 
of blocking and whether or not this is kind of a new play and um, whether it's a dive or not. <laughs> I can't, it's really hard to tell, but I would say it's probably a triple option out of that set. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. Looks like the same play, this guy's coming through. And I thought for sure JT had the ball right there. And I thought for sure he was going down, but he doesn't have the ball, this guy has it. So JT wrote it really well right there. This guy looks like he's already passed him, hasn't committed to the B-back, B-back's through. This guy's left unblocked, that's why I think both of these are a triple option. Got a block right here. Marcus Marshall in for the touchdown. Awesome. Gosh, why don't we just go ahead and see what happened on the next drive. It's not going to hurt. Let's go ahead and get to it. They score. They score. We score. We score. 14-14. Um, great little run right there. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. See the play. Little counter option, some good blocking, 10 yards. So counter option, okay? If you watched my videos before, you know the first thing we'll look is counter option, what happens to linebackers? We'll start to play. Well, they've actually jumped at least one on the inside. And so it does slightly delay them right here. So they've done a good job there. Um, Got some different things going on here with the five-man set. Looks like we're blocking this guy. Looks like we're going to option off this guy. You know, with the delay, able to get to at least to this guy. We're going to have him try to take this linebacker. Got a crack back going on my Ricky June. Great job, Ricky, right there. Pitch guy right here. Pitch it out. June actually blocks two guys. He blocks the second guy right there. That was at Lynch. I hate to call the wrong person. It's kind of hard to tell right there. It looks like a 20, could be a 28. Could be JJ Green. But Lynch does a great job. All right. So, first and 10, we got 10 yards on that. We'll look at this next play. Another triple option here. What's going on? Uh, we can see the new blocking scheme. We see the two option guys, guys going out, guys going around. This guy takes to be back. Doesn't quite 100% commit to him, but he, he's out of the way. Um, of course, this guy's trying to get around. He's going to try to block him right there. Does a good job of trying to keep him off the linebacker. Uh, JT goes has some pitches because this guy's on the inside. We have a great little block going on right here. We can we need another, another block on the outside by pointing him in there, right there. We end up making a good, what, six or seven yards? Not bad. But there's a chop block. So, you know, I've done two or three tapes. Uh, I don't know if I pointed out the chop block that we did earlier where the um, um, tackle had actually hit the, the linebacker and then the A-back came around and cut the linebacker. So that actually was a chop block that wasn't called. This one, you know, I don't know. We actually hit them high. The actual hit hits high. And then what happens is I end up sliding down, ends up taking out the backside. So I don't know if the engagement's high or if you end up being engaged high and low any time during the block is a chop block. So chop block, but hey, I don't believe that stops us, though. I don't believe it does. Let's see what happens here. Little counter option. And uh, get about four yards right there. So first thing on the counter option, these guys take two steps in the wrong direction. So that's the first good sign right there. We're going to go through, try to get this back, this pulling guard right there. It's going to go through. Going to try to take its back side right there. Gets a piece of them. Gets a piece of them. Got a block going on right here. So right here, this is our pitch. It's going to pitch it. Find a little seam right there. We're just not quite able to get everybody. Probably make four yards. 
Wouldn't be too bad if it was first and 10. Not second and 21, though. Go ahead and let you see this right here. A little pass play. Screen pass. And, you know, something I've seen Marcus Marshall do a lot is try to go to the inside. Puts on the brakes, goes to the inside. Just go ahead and get what you can to the outside. The outside, I think, is, is really open. You just got to make one guy miss. Got to be a little faster than him. Just not able to do it. Third and 10. So let's see what we end up doing here. Timeout. That's all we do. Go back. Two wide receivers out here. Um, wide receiver, wide receiver, two A backs, and then it'll be back right here. Of course, it's just going to be pass. Pass blocking actually looks pretty good. You look. June, base, is that June? No, no, that's J.J. Green. So where J.J. Green co come from? He's right here. And I think they show the route. I think the route looks really good. The route running is getting improvement. So you see this route, he gets by him right there. And he takes a step this way, trying to get the... And see, this guy took a step that way. Pulls him off, pulls him around, opens him up, makes the reception, makes the first down. So, yeah. <laughs> What do you know? Chop block didn't stop us. So we'll keep on going. Another little counter option. And there's just not much room to go. So we'll go back and look and see what fell apart here. Um, counter. These guys take a little step in the wrong direction. So they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, this is your option guy. He actually gets a little fooled. Going to pull around. He's been taking on linebacker. Check. Um, looks like right here, he's going after the safety. Looks like he's supposed to go after this guy. So everything's checked. The only thing that happens is this, we're running out of room quickly. Run out of room. And, you know, I don't, it looks like this guy really has his shoulders turned the whole time. It's, it's really, I think it's, I can't tell the angles. It's so hard to tell. But I think JT is supposed to keep this one. Would, would, would be my call right here. It's hard to tell without being on the backside. I don't know if they show it again. So second and 10. Tight set. Go ahead and look at this one. This is looks like this triple option out of that. We end up giving right here. And if you notice, these guys get um, engaged. And before they weren't, these people were coming through. But now they're actually you know, trying to slow them up. And before when we came through this area right through here, it's not there. It's not there anymore. You know, if, um, I would say that would have been a keep. And then you try to pitch it around. But I think we end up missing a couple of box, you know, anyways. So didn't actually end up going, I mean, I can't tell you exactly why on, on that one, but obviously something changed from, from previous. So we're third and ten. Going to be a pass play. And we end up trying to put it downfield. Trying to catch him. It ends up being a great kick. <laughs> um, takes him down to the five-yard line. All right, so that's it. That's all we're going to show you for this half. Um, not many. We only had the ball four times. <laughs> we scored on two of them. So... All right, well, we'll go through the second half of the game, and we'll try to understand uh, what happened for, what, three or four series that uh, we end up getting stopped. And then we'll do a, a very last segment where we look at uh, the winning drives, the two winning drives uh, from Georgia Tech. All right, so all I have for you this week, and uh, or today, I'll try to put another one out tomorrow.